haven't checked like the the whole route going into Colorado Springs. Why? Well, because if you leave, you know, at 5 a.m. in the morning, <clears throat> and you have to drive real slow, yeah, you might not get there on time. Should we go through Pikes Peak? <clears throat> Why would you go through Pikes Peak? <laughs> Don't you think Pike would get upset about that? Hey, get off my peak. Depends on where you're peeking at. <laughs> Don't roll your eyes. I'm not, I'm doing this. Don't squint your eyes. I'll dot your eye. <laughs> can't help it if your humor doesn't really make that much sense. I can't help that. He's just playing to the camera. <laughs> Stop for gas. It's guzzling down pretty quick. There's a little thing on there that'll show you how you're getting twelve. It's like I think you're getting I bet we're not even getting twelve. It's a hundred bucks every thirty minutes to drive. You do the math. For example, inside of an hour there's two thirty minute segments. That'd be two hundred dollars. Is that true? We're spending two hundred dollars every hour. No, not true. Not true. Charlie so lies a lot. It's a Brian oration, ah. or an exaggeration. Brian, do you exaggerate a lot? Don't know what you're talking about. Did you just shrewd it? <laughs> Did you just shrewd? <laughs> just something that's been going around the office. People make really bad mistakes. They say you just shrewd it. This is what happens when you travel a lot. People's names turn into actions, like be quinted. That was a Brian oration. Yep. What's yours, Charlie? Hey, you just, you just charlie You know, like when you do something really cool or fun. Hey, charlie <laughs> It's pretty awesome. Hear the uncomfortable silence? Silence is so loud. Each track is a good and robbers and looking for hungry mothers and fathers. Abuses, excuses, comes in your hands. And not even welcome the arrogant man. I welcome you all to the biggest of feasts. And I have no shame, pause and to breathe. This is the night of love's renovation A feast I'm sure could change up my nation Me, I am not such a person always I'm one who forgets who need it the most I found the lion of the killer of hearts And I ran away for a new way of skies I shared in a room with a bright lamp here Well, here we are uh, In our little RV in my head. It's usually not a cover. This is where you could take a shower in here if <laughs> if uh, if we had water. But we don't have water. So that's that's that. And I'm moving back up here to the uh, where we kind of work and maybe watch a movie. And we are now stumbling across Quint. Hi. He's been watching a movie. Yeah. It's a good love story. It's right here. Yeah. So, on the road again. Got my, my road hair and my road pants on. Road shoes? Road shoes. Just being comfortable. <laughs> 
comfy. Charlie likes it like 9 million degrees in here, so you have to wear layers. Um, Brian, I don't know if you saw that silver jacket way back there, but Brian actually has to wear a uh, protective layer that will work with the sun's atmosphere because Charlie likes it that hot in here. I just freckled indoors. Have you ever freckled indoors? Because I have with Charlie's heat. It's ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. You're cute, man. I kind of want to hold you like a man baby. I don't know what that means. <laughs> We'll read the instructions and uh, <laughs> we'll go from there. Okay. Good Goodbye. to see you. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> Brian's <laughs> working. He usually works. Unless he is eating. <laughs> Are you saying awkward things? N name one time I've said something awkward. Oh. We're hoping to publish this at some point. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going up here. This is Kendall. Can you turn a, a light over there? <laughs> and you can't see Dustin at all. Where's the light? There he is. He's driving. It's the largest wheel known to man, except for anything that's larger. Let me turn down my classic rock. Yeah. Oh, oh there we go. Thanks. Rock. No, the radio station called it classic rock. So here's. Uh, Come away with me. <laughs> you can't really see this because, uh, but that's a TV screen that shows our U-Haul. And that's Dustin driving off the road because the light is on. Light. And Kindle's got a lightsaber. In honor of Phil, our old bus driver, Kindle is going to recreate what would happen every night as Phil listened to Nora Jones and drove us from place to place. 10 and 2. Take us home, Phil. Take us home. Well Okay, Joe. Look out for that deer. Whoa. We love you, Phil. We love you, Phil. We miss you, Phil. <laughs> I wish you were driving instead of me. <laughs> Make sure you get all the product endorsements. Splenda. <laughs> Cisco. Coffee, carafe, broth. Going out ahead of us. Just checking. Sorry. What's that? We're going to wait until at about 805. You, I think I saw 801. Charlie, anything you want to say? Hello, Boston. Oh, it's not Boston. Where are, stupid, isn't it? Where are we? We're in uh, Florida. We're in Florida. Palm Branches, Florida. <laughs> Palm Branches? That's like retirement community. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Panama City. That's right. Yeah. Well, do they have Palm Branches? Yes. <laughs> are we in them? Sometimes. <laughs> hmm. There's some faux Palm Branches over there. What's that plan? See you, Ross. How much time we got? It's the final countdown. <laughs>